Hey agents, and welcome to Shadow Gaming. We got the targeted loot allocation for June 28, 2020. Let's get this thing started with the Dark Zones, then DC, then New York City. We got gloves and DZ West. So if you're looking for the firm handshake gloves or you're looking for the death grips, those are named DZ exclusives. At least the death grips are, that's for sure. And those have uh, armor regeneration percentage on them. And then the firm handshake has the 15% status effects baked into it. So I would check those out. I don't believe the firm handshake is a DZ exclusive. It might be, but they were selling at one of the vendors last week. I forget which one, but I believe I've gotten them in the dark zones. I'll put it in the pinned comment section below if it's not a DZ exclusive or not. We have mass and DZ cell. So if you're still looking for that hollow men mass with that 10% health damage baked into it, you can go ahead and farm there. I wouldn't farm for the coyotes mask here. I would just go to Jefferson Trade Center and keep killing Coyote at the end of the mission over and over and over again. Plus, you can get Providence Defense at the same time, which is you're always going to pretty much run Coyote's Mass with Providence Defense to get the maximum effect out of it. So I would go check that out. And then for backpacks, you can get the gift backpack today. That's going to be a big one. So I would go for that. It has perfect vigilance on it, and I still haven't gotten that. would love to. All right, starting with the northern areas, we got chess pieces at camp white oak Tana U at coney allen amusement park and gear sets at manning national zoo and there's douglas and harding at coney allen ballpark i haven't used douglas and harding since tu8 or since tu7 maybe before that i forget it's been so long but i just don't use it anymore you know there is that uh pistol damage you can get from i believe the one piece so it might be worth it to get that if you're running a pistol build um I, I forget, I'm sorry for that, uh, but chess pieces, I would go there if you want to get the sacrifice, um, if you want to get the pristine example, instead of going to a Raul the Holdings or Providence Defense targeted loot, always go towards the type, not the brand, that narrows down the targeted loot search for things, so I would go here for chess pieces for those named ones, otherwise get what you need to get, Hana you. that's going to be chest, you know, gloves, everything. So it's going to be a more wide selection, but you'll be getting all Hana U, or at least all targeted loot Hana U. And then over here on the gear set side, I would go for Foundry Bulwark, and I would go for Future Initiative, I'd go for the Eclipse Protocol set, you know, and then you still can get hardwired, all that legacy stuff, I would go for that as well. Alright, so the highlights for today for the west side are going to be Gilagard and West End, Marksman Rifles at Downtown West, Pistols at Bank Headquarters, Seska SRO at Constitutional Hall, Light Machine Guns at DCD Headquarters, Gloves at Roosevelt Island, Gear Sets again at Tidal Basin, nice. Rifles at Lincoln Memorial and Walker Harrison Co. at DARPA Research Labs. Now, DARPA Research Labs, I did that during the time trials. It was kind of fun and I kind of liked it, so that's just on my bias of it. I like it, but. You know, if you're looking for Walker Harrison Co., you're going to have to go there anyway. It's not targeted loot anywhere else. So I would go check that out if you need uh, any of the Walker Harrison Co. stuff. I still don't know for sure if the Matador is a DZ exclusive or not. I'm being told that it isn't. So maybe it isn't. It might not be. I've just never gotten it. But I haven't farmed it more than about six hours a time. So it might still be a DZ exclusive. It might not. I hope it's not. I'm pretty sure it isn't now. So then maybe go check that out. And then for gear sets, same as what I said on the northern side, go check that out at Tidal Basin. I would rather do that than Manning National Zoo. I don't like the Manning National Zoo too much. Um, and that's just, of course, my opinion. Rifles at Lincoln Memorial, so you can get the Diamondback, the Merciless, and M1As, uh, MK17s, all the good rifles. Just go to Lincoln Memorial. There's three bosses at the end. It's a fast mission. There's always a matchmate group ready to run this over and over again. So I would check that out. Gloves today aren't at like Camp White Oak like they were yesterday, so it's not going to be a better chance to get the BTSU gloves since these aren't these are outcasts, they're not Black Tusk, but you can still try for them or Contractor's gloves and possibly even the Firm Handshake. You can't get the Death Grips in the Light Zone, but I think you can get the Firm Handshake in the Light Zone. The Seska SRO at Constitutional Hall, that's always for that extra 10% crit hit chance, so you can go for that. At DCD Headquarters, today is the best day to get the Bullet King and the Pestilence. You can run that mission back to back, even faster than Lincoln Memorial, I would say. 
I would go here. If you do not have the Bullet King yet today, go to DCD headquarters today. You have to get it today. This is going to be one of the best places for light machine guns to be to get the Bullet King or Pestilence. You can also get the good times there. You know, all, all good light machine guns, the negative, uh, you know, all those. The, they're good light machine guns. You should go grab them. All right, so in the east side, we got submachine guns at the White House. So if you're looking for the Lady Death or the Chatterbox, although I always recommend just doing the quest line for the Chatterbox, the Lady Death doesn't have one, it just drops. So if you don't want to farm open world bosses for Lady Death, I would go check out White House. Just hit these two control points over and over again, and that should be good enough to get the Lady Death, hopefully. It's harder to drop for sure. But yeah, I would go check that out anyway, and targeted loot for submachine guns seems to be better than farming open world bosses randomly in New York City. Alright, so today in the east side we got Gil uh, Golong Gear in downtown east, and we got assault rifles at District Union Arena, Providence Defense at Jefferson Trade Center, we got Petrov over in Judiciary Square, Backpacks at American History Museum, Murakami at Capitol Building, Knee Pads at Air and Space, Fenris at Space Administration. Okay, so Golan gear. I use at least one piece for the Eclipse Protocol build the extra 10% status effect, so check that out. And Assault Rifles at District Union Arena. So if you farm this on Legendary, like I did yesterday, I uh, I was farming Roosevelt Island on Legendary. I would go for a good light machine gun, actually. So today, I would farm this for a good P416, Military AKM, FAMAS, whatever. Like, they're good Assault Rifles, they're top tier. You can also get the Chameleon. Go check that out, and if you run it on Legendary, the rolls will be much higher. In fact, I'm starting to believe that Legendary is the only way to get good rolls that aren't entirely rainbow rolls. I, I, I don't know, maybe everyone knows that already, but after farming Legendaries for a few hours yesterday, I was getting really good loot. Like, to the point where I don't even want to play Heroics anymore for a loot. Providence Defense, Jefferson Trade Center, that's always good. You can get the Coyotes Mask, and you can get Providence Defense pieces. There's not a legendary for it, unfortunately, so if Providence Defense ever goes on District Union Arena, Capitol Building, or Roosevelt, I'll be right away letting you guys know. Um, so I would go here and check that out. Pathway, or sorry, American History Museum for backpacks, that's another good one. So you can get named backpacks here, you can get whatever backpack rolls you need to get. Just check that out if you need to. Knee pads for Fox Bears knee pads. Any knee pads you need, like Ninja Bike Messenger pads. Those are exotic, so I would check that out holsters in southwest area all right so today i'll be getting the imperial dynasty for sure uh there's this xp farm here i might make a video on it uh if i don't i'll just let you guys know what it is tomorrow or i'll tell you guys in the comment section there is an xp farm here in southwest so i would go check that out and just farm this area over and over and over again i'll just tell you guys it's the no hope hotel so go there farm it with four directives on on heroic and then reset the control point over and over again just check that out and try it a few times and tell me what you guys think obviously you're gonna try to run like a turret assault turret striker drone build like one of mine but you know you can run whatever you want especially if you're using the no ammo directive you have to run the skill builds but anyway uh, i'm gonna make a video on that anyway just to let you guys know in a you know more pure better form and instructions than that and then for Fenris, you know, if you're looking for that 10% assault rifle damage or you're looking for the 20% reload speed, I don't normally see it, but, you know, it's possible. All right, let's go check out New York City and I'll let you guys go. So we got Grupo Sombro at Civic Center, Gila Guard at the Tombs, Murakami at Two Bridges, Shotguns at Stranded Tanker, Heralda Holding at Pathway Park, Wyvernware at Battery Park, Sask SRO at Wall Street, Pistols at Financial District, and Sokolo Concern at Liberty Island. I'd recommend the Wyvern Wear, the Araldo Holdings for the perfect headhunter build, and Murakami if you really need them, but they're over I believe at Capitol Building today, and Shotguns probably would be the only one today. If you're looking for the Sweet Dreams, then or a good shotgun like an M870, then just go get that today at Stranded Tanker. I would stay away from everything else unless you really need Sokolo Concern, or Wyvern Wear, or Araldo Holdings. The Gila Guard's over in DC, or if you need Grupo Sumbro, that's all on you guys. I'm just here to let you guys know what it is and what my recommendations are. I just, a Grupo Sumbro might be good for the explosives damage, crit hit damage. Uh, that's about it though. I got delta Oh well, so I'll just throw some gameplay footage in here and let you guys know that thank you so much for watching and I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.
Take care, agents. This is what the Division 2 is now. Bye.